Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us on Channel 5 News at 1030. Police tell Channel 5 News that burglaries go up at mobile home parks in the Valley when winter Texans leave for the summer months. But one man at an RV park has found a simple solution that actually works. Channel 5's Eddie Flores joins us live from our studios with more. Eddie. Lefty, for 30 years, John Hogan worked as both a police detective and in corporate security in Kansas. And when burglaries at his RV park in Mission went on the rise, he rose to the occasion. Despite being a gated community with surveillance cameras all around the property, the Green Gate Grove RV park in Mission was getting burglarized way too often. We were having uh, four or five a night, twice a week. And it was getting so that uh, we had a lot of the citizens in, in the park here would get up and uh, they'd patrol the place with, with their golf carts. That's when this former detective and security expert decided to put together a simple, and we do mean simple, security device. All you need is a riding lawnmower battery, a small siren you can get from any security business, some spider string, and a clothespin. Or a wooden clothespin with a good strong spring on it. You wire uh, a wire on both ends of it. Hogan then runs spider wire, which serves as trip wire to different parts of mobile homes and sheds. That's basically it. Wow. The minute they walk through that, they hit it. <laughs> it goes up. They don't know where I'm going to put them the next night. We move them around each evening. And the thing about this spider wire or trip wire that they use, you can't see it at all at night. In fact, even during the day, you can't see it. Did you? And, uh, they were tripped twice since we put them in. And since then, they haven't been tripped and we haven't had any break-ins. And instead of the hundreds of dollars it would cost for a home security system and monthly fee, this contraption can be put together for about 40 bucks. I think it's wonderful. It's simple, it's inexpensive, and it works. Several of the devices are set up around the RV park each evening, and if that's not enough to deter criminals, 44 of the residents now have concealed handgun permits, and 24 others have already signed up for the next class. They're packing. Eddie Flores, Channel 5 News at 1030.